Hello everyone, today I am going to be giving you an in-depth, detailed voice tutorial on how to make a professional looking website for completely free. Once you have downloaded everything required and set up your domain, I am going to show you one how to install MyBB. First of all, for both websites, you are going to need to download FileZilla. Now this is a free program which can be found on the link in the description and it should take you to a page like this. Now once you're on this page, hit download FileZilla client. Once the button comes up to download FileZilla, this is for Windows 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit operating system or Mac, Linux or anything else other than Windows, then go ahead to show additional download options. Now as you can see, there is a 64 bit, 32 bit, Mac OS and Linux downloads. So make sure to download the right program for your computer. Now once you've downloaded FileZilla, make sure that you put it on your desktop for easy access later on. This is going to be something that we're going to use quite often when making the website. Secondly, head into the link in the description again and click on the my bb link it will take you to a page like this and you can hit download now download now will be on every single annotation on the website so it doesn't matter which one you press as long as you press download now don't panic if yours is a higher version than the one i am downloading now it will still be the exact same so download whatever version is available at the time of watching this video once you have downloaded the file open it up and make sure that you have winrar downloaded if you don't have WinRAR downloaded you can easily download that I'll leave that in the link in the description too once the file is open you will see two files upload and documentation documentation you will not need for this so you can go ahead and even delete that file the only thing you are going to need is upload and everything inside of this so make sure to minimize that until later on now you have downloaded MyBB and FileZilla, head on into the description and go to Freenom. Once you are on Freenom, then go ahead up here and press sign in. Here you want to either use a social sign in through Facebook, Twitter or whatever it gives you as an option or you can make an email address and a password. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to sign in via my Facebook account. Once you have done that, it will say hello and your name up above. You want to go ahead and press services and then register a new domain. Once you have loaded the page to put in a new domain, type in here the domain that you would like without the www dot or the ending. For an example, for the purpose of this video, I will use CSGO Hunt as my domain. Press check availability and if the website is available, it will give you five options on which you can get them. If not, some of them might be taken, but you can choose another one. .tk and .cf are the two that I would recommend you put in your website as. I would definitely recommend CF if it's available considering this is the most trusted domain out of all of these. So once you have found the domain that you want, go ahead and press get it now and it will check if it's available and then press check out. Now before you press continue, once it comes here, press period, do the drop down and press 12 months. A lot of people don't do this and they press continue on 3 months, you can get 12 months of service for free out of this domain which is one year you can have a year completely free courtesy of Freenom just make sure to hit that drop down and press 12 months and then hit continue now once you have done this it's going to say total due today zero and it's not going to ask you for future charges you do not have to put your PayPal credit card details or anything related to any banks in this website you just have to upload some simple details like your name, company name, city and country. Now as you can see at the bottom of the page you have to tick the I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and you have to go ahead to complete order. Now once you have done that you're going to get an order confirmation and it's going to say thank you for your order and you're going to get an order number right here which I am going to blank out. Hit this blue button at the bottom that says click here to go to your client area. Now once you are returned back to the home screen, press services and my domain. Now I have a list of domains here that I am currently using, but just go to the domain that you have just made. So in my case is csgohunt.cf. Then hit manage domain. You're going to want to go to management tools and name servers. Then hit the box that says use custom name servers, enter below. Now once you've hit that box, you are going to go to another website. This 
this is the final website that you guys are going to need and is also in the description of this video infinity free head up to the top and press login and then select the account that you want to log in with or register an account I have already got an account so it automatically logged me in but register an account isn't a hard process. I already have two websites hosted with these. The maximum as you can see is free but you shouldn't have any if you've never used this before. So just press add a new website, create account. Now you want to come across to or use your own domain and type in your domain name. So mine was csgohunt.cf. Do not put www dot at the beginning, otherwise it will not find the website. Just use the name of the website that you picked and dot cf at the end. Then hit search. Now if this website is done correctly, it will say congratulations, your website is available and it's going to give you an account password and prove that you're not a robot. Now before we press create account, you need to change the name servers to be compatible to this website in order for it to work so as you can see underneath here the required name servers are nsby.org 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 and nsby.org with one two three four and five at the beginning so just copy one of these head on over back to your client area and this is where you are going to have to change these so just quickly go ahead and paste all of these in here and then just change the beginning to two. So once you have finished putting all your name servers in, hit change name servers and then go back to domains list. Now you can double check that they changed by going back onto manage domain, management tools, name servers, and they should all be changed. So once you have done that, you can close down Freenom and keep this open. So go ahead now and do the I'm not a robot task and then hit create account. So as you can see, it'll say we are setting up your account and you can log in in a few minutes. This literally does take a few minutes. So I'm gonna refresh the page in exactly one minute to show you guys that this only takes a few seconds. So as you can see down here, it is 2307. And once this gets to 2308, I will refresh the page. Okay, so as you can see, 2308, and the website is now available for me to go on to. So once you are inside here, you are gonna have a control panel, a site builder, a file manager, an account password, basic information, FTP information, and name servers information. The only thing that you are gonna to have to worry about is the FTP information and this account password right here. So what you want to do is load up FileZilla as we saved on the desktop before. Once FileZilla is open, something like this should pop up with a host, a username, a password, and a port. So inside the host, you are simply going to want to copy the host name for your FTP and paste that there. Now, if there's a big gap at the beginning, you're just going to want to delete that by holding the back button and do the same for username and password. Now, the password can be found by going to your account password here and pressing show. Now, I'm not going to show you guys what that was for the purpose of this video because that should be remained private. The port is always 21. Port and press quick connect, then press OK. Now once you are here, it will say do not upload the files here. So you want to press HT docs and you will get another file that says files for your website should be put here. So now you're going to want to go back to the MyBB download and open upload. And then click the top, press shift and click the bottom and select everything inside of this WinRAR file and drag and drop them here. The upload shouldn't take too long to finish. I'd give it about 20 seconds and then you will see that they will all appear here. So now you can simply close down the mybb.zip file and wait for this to finish installing the 600 files that it needs to install. If any files pop up asking you to overwrite, press overwrite and always use this action. Sometimes there will be a file inside here that already exists but you just want to overwrite it with the newer files that we are adding. Okay, so once the files have finished downloading, you should have all of these inside the HTDocs root. So if we go back 
and we press HT docs, you can see all the files are here. So now what you want to do is minimize FileZilla and head over to control panel. Now once you're on your control panel, head over to subdomains and you are going to create a new subdomain. So where it says create a subdomain, you want to press the down arrow and find your website at the bottom. So for an example, it'll be something.csgohunt.cf. Now call the subdomain forms and press create. So now we have our subdomain right here underneath current subdomain. Now we want to return back to our home of the control panel and go to MySQL database. So once you have loaded into MySQL databases, you're going to see new database. And again, you're going to call this forms. Press create database. And you are going to get underneath current databases, your database name, your database username, your SQL password, and your host name. So now open a new tab and head to your domain. So now you want to search your domain. So mine is www.csgohunt.cf. Once you enter that, you are gonna get this pop-up that says my BB, my BB installation wizard hit next, next next and then once on database configuration press my sql improved and put the database server host name here you can get that from your c panel here is the database name so just copy that and put that in here and the same goes with the username password and database name now if you get these big gaps here make sure to remove them do not have any of those big gaps make sure that the thing the letter is pushed against the side. Also, I did put this in the wrong place. This is the host name. The actual uh, database name goes at the bottom of the page, as you can see. Okay, so your database password can be found simply by going back to the Infinity Free web website and heading back to where your account password is. Your account password is also your database password. So just press show and put that here in the database password set. So now, as you can see, I've copied my account password. I'm gonna paste it here and press next. Now, once you have done that, the table creation should connect to the database and server and all of these should be done. Now, if you have done that, then hit next hit next again, next. And when it comes up to board configuration, keep this as forms, this is your website. Then the website name is gonna be CSGO Hunt, but for you, it can be whatever your website is called. Keep the website URL the same, keep the cookie domain the same, the path domain the same, the contact email can either be your email or leave it as root at foo.tld and then leave security settings blank and press next. Now once this creates your administration account, you then need to do your administration details. So put your username as admin, your password as whatever you want that to be to log into your admin CP. Retype that again. And then your email address, just put that there for confirmation then hit next. Now once you have done this, it'll say your copy has been successfully installed and configured correctly. So now get rid of index.php and install from your domain and press enter. Now as you can see, I have a MyBB form and it'll say welcome back admin. Now I'm gonna log out of this real quickly and I am just going to log in as a admin. So my username was admin, my password was whatever I wanted it to be. And as you can see, I have successfully been logged in as an admin. So now I can go to admin CP and my admin CP login is just admin and the same password as whatever the account was. And you'll be brought to the admin CP section. So now I'm gonna show you how to 
install a form and then I will make another tutorial showing you how to do some things on my BB if you are new. So for now go to template and styles and hit import a theme. Now head into the description of this video and get the link for mods.mybb.com and as you can see this is going to be themes here in which you can download to put onto your website. So I'm not going to put too much thought into this tutorial website and I'm just going to get the clean dark theme here. So it's going to show me some pictures of what the website will look like when this form is added. If you want this theme, I will also leave this theme link in the description for you to download if you like it. And you just want to press download when you found a nice theme and hit I agree. And you're going to get the download pop up, just hit save and then you can close this down. So now open up the WinRAR file for the clean dark theme, open the file. And inside you should have an XML document right here. So drag and drop the XML document onto your desktop next to FileZilla and import it onto the MyBB website. And now where it says import theme, you can browse and find your theme on the desktop. So as you can see, I have found my clean dark theme, press open and then keep it as MyBB master style, put the new name as main or whatever you want to call your theme, it could be clean dark, um, and then press import theme. If you get this error message saying this theme has been written for another version of MyBB, just hit the ignore version compatibility and that will get rid of the error. So now, once that is done, the selected theme has been imported successfully, you need to go back to themes and styles and then select clean dark as your default theme. So now that that is set as my default, when I go back to my website, csgohunt.cf, it is going to look a lot different than before. Now this theme does look a little bit shitty, but hopefully if you guys can find a nice theme, then your website will look slick. So just have a look through some of the themes until you find a very, very nice one that you can add to your website that makes your website look very nice and everything looks clean. This theme was a bit bad, but this was just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. Finally, head on back into FileZilla and find the install folder. This install folder you can now delete. Once you have deleted install, that just gets rid of the installation page. So now if we do slash install and enter that, it's gonna give a 404 page error. But if we go back to the website, then you will see that the website still works fine and everything on it is perfectly fine. So just remove the install folder, otherwise people can do slash install and reinstall your website which will get rid of everything. So once you have done that, close FileZilla, you can then close the control panel login for Infinity Free and also close Infinity Free 2. Just keep this page open and mess around with my BB. I hope this tutorial has this been IIPYZX. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.